your highness. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the St. Vincent de Paul Value Store on Barton Street East in Hamilton. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others I visit a variety of antique, vintage and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. This is one of those stores that can be awkward to get through. It has a very limited set of hours and a limited number of days of the week. They are an interesting store. There's a nice newly renovated space that they moved into from their previous location on King Street East. They do have set prices and this time there was a 50% off furniture set. Going in, uh, we've got the glassware, ceramics, household goods right at the entrance, leading us to the back of, towards the back of the store, not all the way to the back. Some of these are a bit, can be viewed from the other side as well and chosen. These obviously you cannot be. After rounding the top there, the uh, you've got your clothing and some of your hard goods. Oh, this is the furniture area. You saw the books there. Uh, the furniture is much larger than that. We'll be seeing a bit more of that later. Here we go. They had a number of quite a large number of teak items there this at this visit at 50 percent off they're an okay price um, we felt that the prices were a little on the higher side i'm not sure what their goal actually is i understand they may be trying to collect as much um, monies as possible but sometimes you actually scare people away from getting anything when the prices appear to be out of line I'm not saying everything is uh, the clothing was actually quite reasonable some of these things were but there are some items that if they really wanted to they could do it as an auction rather than just putting on a higher sticker price now the teak I'm not saying it was uh, overpriced, but it sure, sure as heck wasn't something where you could uh, turn it over for any kind of profit. That may be the reason they did that. I'm not sure. They've got the board games here. They do have some items like this. They're telling you that they want a certain amount for it. Uh, a wood plane not a planer but that's you know that's me I'll, I'll, I'm a little stickler for those kind of things and some books so most most of the uh, regular consumable items this was this had a now this is the part that I don't know for sure is that the sale price after the sign on the door or is that the sale price before you sign on the door? It wasn't clear to me. I wasn't going to start into a discussion on that. It wasn't enough of an interest to me. Then you have these oddball items. That was a wine bottle holder. And some nice other furniture. The um, tree stand, uh, coat stand using Railway spikes on a 4x4. Four four. I actually picked it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or or do something more else with it. You see some uh, classic vinyl LPs here. The Verace. Pinocchio. This was not the Disney version. This is prior to Disney doing theirs. 
It was a book and record system. I don't know if they had the book there. A classic Japanese desk light fluorescent. Uh, again, the pricing was uh, a bit awkward. I don't know if they're just trying to hold on to them for the maximum or they're just trying to if, but if they don't move, what are they going to do? They're going to keep marking down the price? I guess so. The, the lamp wasn't too far off from being okay, but it was still high. Uh, some artworks uh, of all sizes there. They had some really lovely, really old, much older items as well. Now, they weren't too bad on the price. It's, it's where you get into something like this. Um... Actually, we have one that looks just like this, but it's a secretary. Now, that's a, uh, a study desk. I'd say it's probably mid-century, earlier mid-century. Yeah, we're all stories in the end. Just make it a good one. And I'm trying to do that with this. Some a better view of some of the artwork. These would be okay if it's uh, you're looking for something non-specific. So two items of teak. I think the one on the left may be more on the, in the zone of walnut. I'm not a psychopath. I'm a high-functioning sociopath. Do your research. Haha. -ha. This is another mid-century piece. Um, possibly a uh, walnut and, and another hardwood. It's an okay price, but there's there's a few things there that we just felt that were out of line, just so you know. They have an opinion on this place. Well, see, there you go. That's not terrible for what it is. It's a nice and it's in nice condition on top of it. Pieces of glassware, ceramics, uh, some brass work. So, and a little bit of silver plate there too. And the Sunbeam mixer is 50 bucks. Not not bad for that really, to be honest. The vintage Monopoly, well, that actually was sold into the 70s like that. So I'm not, it might be a good price. I, I'm not gonna quibble about it. And then you get these lovely pieces like this. The turntable is a bit on the high side. Even in the other vintage shops, it doesn't sell for that much. And there's the price for that uh, denim top. That was uh, $10. I'm sorry if it's a little blurred out. This is not a Hawaiian shirt. This is a women's top. For five bucks. And Taylor. Thematically... It's more Indian. There's a wine shirt. But it's not men's. Again, it's a women's. It's more like a, a nurse's uh, top for three bucks. And they had some other for, uh, clothing that they had featured. Old Navy. Might be some Gap. bunch of other items here that are a bit of a vintage electronics some ceramic plates an old uh, I think that's a an encyclopedia anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, we would appreciate a, a subscribe and a thumbs up and maybe a tinkle on the bell so you know when the next one's uploaded thanks a lot folks bye bye